Hello and welcome to Never Enough Cruising. After a two week stay on the Leicester Arm, it's time for us to move on. We leave Crick Marina after filling up with fuel and negotiate the tight turn. The two white pins on the opposite side of the canal, on the left and the right of the screen, are to ask boaters not to moor between them. The reason for this is it's part of the turning circle for boats coming out of the marina. The canal here is only about 50 foot wide so we do need that extra space to negotiate the turns. Any boats that are moored between the two points are likely to cause an obstruction for any boats trying to enter or exit the marina. It could also mean that boats could be hit or even worse damaged. As you can see we do need the complete width that this extra piece gives us and any boat that has been moored up between the two points would have made it really difficult for us to do so. completed we can now push on and head towards Broxton and then head towards the North Oxford Canal but before we can do that we need to stop to fill up with water and get rid of our rubbish. Crick Boat Show takes place inside Crick Marina at the end of May. All along here the boats are more two abreast for the boat show. You have to apply to Crick Boat Show for a permit to allow you to moor here for the duration of the show. This is a pretty little boat. Right, the water's clear. Well here at Crick we have just gone into the marina, we've just topped up the fuel, changed the gas bottle and now we're at Crick Wharf taking on water before we head off onto our next stage of our journey. As we entered the tunnel we had no idea just how many boats we were going to pass inside the tunnel that day. was the busiest we've ever seen inside a tunnel. It was a bit like being underground during the rush hour. They just kept coming and coming. Here's another one. And another one. It really was like Piccadilly Circus underground.
It's not long before we're back at Watford and start heading back down the flight of locks. It really was such a beautiful day. A perfect day to go out cruising in. However, it was 31 degrees and very dry. The combine harvesters were very busy in the fields. So much so that the air was thick with the dust they created. It covered the canal water and over our boat. Here we are back at Norton Junction again, but this time we need to turn right to head towards Braunston. Are we going to make it without getting stuck across the canal? Of course we did. But if you look at the other side of the canal, you can see the damage caused by other boats that didn't. Second tunnel of the day, Braunston Tunnel. And how many boats do we encounter in this tunnel? Now moored up for a day or two in Braunston, I go and take a trip round the village to go and get some groceries while Jonathan tidies up the boat and does a spot of gone goozling. All Saints Church in Braunston was rebuilt in 1849. Its spire is 150 feet tall. The old mill was built in the early 1800s. The windmill is the scene of a tragic accident. A workman was hit by a sail while he was trimming it when the wind started to turn the sails. He was knocked off balance and fell to his death in the churchyard below. The old bakery used grain from the windmill. It was also a crux style house, which meant that on Sundays, the local cottagers could bring their meat in to be cooked. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, 
and ring the little bell for notification of when we launch a new video. You can now support us by becoming a patron.